see. The world was all before them. They hand in hand with wondrousness and slow, they leave for first out to the great. Sing heavenly muse, safe first, for heaven hides nothing from thy view, nor the deep tract of hell. Safe first what caused our parents in that happy state of Eden to fall off from their creator. Who first seduced him to that foul revolt? The infernal serpent, he it was whose guile stirred up by envy and revenge deceived the mother of mankind. What time? He trusted to have equaled the most high if he opposed, and with ambitious aim, against the throne and monarchy of God, raised impious war in heaven, and battle proud with vain attempt. Him the almighty power hurled headlong flaming from the ethereal skies, down to bottomless perdition there to dwell in adamantine chains and penal fire, who durst defy the omnipotent to arms. Now the thought of lost happiness and lasting pain torments him. Round he throws his baleful eyes that witnessed huge affliction and dismay. A dungeon horrible on all sides round as one great furnace flamed. Yet from those flames no light, but rather darkness visible, served only to discover sights of woe where peace and rest can never dwell. Hope never comes that comes to all, but torture without end still urges. Round he throws his baleful eyes that witnessed huge affliction and dismay. A dungeon horrible on all sides round as one great furnace flamed. Yet from those flames no light, but rather darkness visible, served only to discover sights of woe where peace and rest can never dwell. Hope never comes that comes to all, but torture without end still urges. Said then the lost archangel, Hail, horrors, hail, infernal world, Meet thy new possessor, a mind not to be changed. The mind in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven. To reign is worth ambition, though in hell. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Satan builds a city in hell. Nigh on the plain with wondrous art, a fabric huge rose like an exaltation. To the sound of dulcet symphonies and voices sweet, built like a temple. Meanwhile, the heralds, by command of sovereign power, with awful ceremony and trumpet sound, Throughout the host proclaim a solemn council to be held in Pandemonium, the high capital of Satan and his peers. Satan exalted thus displayed. Thrones and imperial powers, I give not heaven for lost. Whether for open war or covert guile, we now debate. Who can advise may speak. On the other side rose up Belial, though his tongue dropped manna to nobler deeds, timorous and slothful. What if from above should intermitted vengeance arm again his red right hand to plague us, and hell should spout her cataracts of fire, threatening hideous fall upon our heads? 
This would be worse. War, therefore, dissuades. Beelzebub, than whom Satan except none higher sat, seemed a pillar of state. On his front in graven deliberation sat while thus he spake. Thrones and imperial powers, war hath determined us and foiled with loss irreparable. What if we find some easier enterprise? There is a place, the happy seat of some new race called man to be created. Thither let us bend our thoughts, and whether weakness seduce them to our party, that their God may prove their foe. This would surpass common revenge. The bold design pleased highly, with full assent they vote. Satan, whom now transcendent glory raised above his fellows, thus spake, Long is the way and hard that out of hell leads up to light, but I should ill become this throne if aught of difficulty or danger could deter me from attempting. Wherefore, mighty powers, intend at home against a wakeful foe, while I abroad through all the coasts of dark destruction seek deliverance for us all. This enterprise None shall partake but me. And Satan, with thoughts inflamed of highest desire, puts on swift wing, and toward the gates of hell explores his solitary flight. At last appear hell bounds, and the gates impaled with circling fire, yet unconsumed. Before the gates, there sat on either side a formidable shape. The one seemed woman to the waist and fair. Both seem highly pleased. Thus from her side the fatal key she took. On a sudden open fly the infernal doors, redounding smoke and ruddy flame before a vast illimitable ocean. The wary fiend at last his sail broad vans he spread for flight. Into the expanse and through the shock of fighting elements he wins his way. Now at last the sacred influence of light appears. That Satan now with ease wafts on the calmer wave and weighs gladly to behold far off the imperial heaven and opal towers once his native seat. And fast by, hanging in a golden chain, this pendant world, thither he hies. So on he fares, and to the border comes of Eden, where nature crowns with her enclosure green. Blossoms and fruits at once appeared with gay enamel colored mixed. Nature poured forth profuse on hill and dale and plain, where the fiend saw all kind of living creature, new to sight and strange. Two of far nobler shape, erect and tall, clad in naked majesty, seemed lords of all, for in their look the image of their glorious maker shone. Satan, still in gaze where first he stood, recovered sad. O oh, hell, what do mine eyes with grief behold? Ah, gentle pair, ye little know how nigh your change approaches, when all these delights will vanish and deliver ye to woe. Hell shall unfold to entertain you too, and should I at your harmless innocence melt, as I do, Yet reason, honor, and empire with revenge compels me now to do what I should abhor. 